All right, so tomorrow is the day for the Fortnite and Avatar Elements collaboration. I cannot wait, but in anticipation for tomorrow, they've already released the gameplay trailer and it's pretty sweet. Now, oddly enough, I can't see it in game just yet. I'm sure they're gonna add it to the news feed, but right now it's not there. I tried resetting my game and everything. So let me play you the trailer first and then we'll do a little breakdown of it. So as you saw, and like I said, it's pretty good. Lots and lots of new things coming to the game tomorrow, mainly in the tune of mythic weapons and items. Now, of course, if you're a huge Avatar fan, there's one thing, or I should say person, that's missing, and that is Sokka. Now, if you saw my video yesterday where I went through everything in the mini battle pass that's coming out tomorrow, one of the items is Sokka's pickaxe. So the fact that he's mentioned in-game means that there's a 99.9% .9 chance he is coming. If there is a wave two of Avatar skins, I'm sure it's going to be there. So let's break down this trailer. So first off, we start with Katara, who is the waterbender. And of course, we already have the waterbending mythic in game. So that's no surprise. And Katara is obviously in game right now as well. Then we cut to Toph, who is the earthbender. And she is also in game right now. But obviously, earthbending is not yet available. So we just have the element on the screen. And then we go to Zuko who is the firebender. We get the fire element on the screen as well. So then we've got a nice image and a close-up of the iceberg, which contains the frozen Aang, as well as his air bison, Appa. And both of those, by the way, will be in the battle pass tomorrow. So then we get closer and closer, and then boom, the iceberg cracks, and it reveals Aang gliding down. And look at that, he lands right on Appa. So Aang is going to be in the paid battle pass. You get him right away, and then you get his avatar state at the end. And then Appa, the glider, is a free quest reward. So everyone should get that for free. Then we got a glimpse of all four characters running. That's Toph, Zuko, Katara, and Aang. They're charging forward with their respective accessories. And now we get some elements of gameplay. No pun intended there. So we start off with Aang and the airbending mythic. So this is gonna have two abilities. The first one is called the air wheel, and then the second one is called the air jump. So it only demonstrates the air wheel in this clip, but it's amazing for mobility. You literally use the air as a propeller to push you forward, and then you can even extend your arms and go faster. It kind of reminds me of the Groot Ball ability, but that one healed you as you went. I don't think this one will do that. And I don't think you could take damage in the Groot Ball either, could you? Your character definitely looks exposed in this air wheel, so I'm pretty sure you should be able to take damage, but we'll see. Regardless, it'll be insane for mobility. Now, like I said, it doesn't demonstrate the air jump, so I'm not sure what that does. And then it goes to Katara, who demonstrates the water bending, which we've already seen. If you haven't used that yet, basically, it's a mythic that requires you to aim. I know, I know. People really hate this because you literally have to aim. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Well, then we go to Toph, who is, again, the earthbender, and this one looks amazing. So earthbending gives you two abilities as well. There's something called the rock throw and then something called the rock wall. And we actually see both of those in this short clip. So Toph fires a huge boulder right at someone. It looks like it auto aimed right to their face. And then she puts up this huge rock wall. So this is going to be my favorite for sure. If you remember during the My Hero Academia collab, we had that ice wall and that was my favorite thing ever. You could actually put the ice wall right on someone and they would go flying and take fall damage and die. Or you could jump off a high place and then put it down and save your landing. So I don't know if it's going to do all these things, but I hope it will. And then the rock throw is kind of like one of the Star Wars abilities we've had before where you can chuck things at people. And then we got the fire bending compliments of Zuko. So there's, again, two abilities with this one as well, something called the Fire Sweep and the Fire Slam. So right at the start, Zuko demonstrates the Fire Slam, I think that is, because he drops a huge Hulk Hogan leg right over the rock wall. It's amazing. And then for the Fire Sweep, he shoots all these blazing fireballs out at people. It looks pretty sweet as well. I could have those backwards, but those are definitely his two abilities. 
And then we see Aang demonstrate some firebending, and then he does an emote there at the end. And then we cut to the Avatar State Aang doing an emote we already have in game. And then we go one more screen to the running gag of the cabbages. That's going to be another emote, my cabbages. And then you've also got Aang doing his emote around the cabbage stand. And then we finally cut to the title card and it says elements. Amazing. So a pretty decent trailer. This is going to shake up the gameplay in Fortnite a lot. You're going to have to watch out for three brand new mythic items plus the water bending, which makes four, but that one's already in the game, obviously. So essentially, if you have all four mythics, you have basically everything covered because earth bending is like you have materials, aka you can build a rock wall. And then in addition, you can chuck the boulders, which is kind of cool. Water bending is like an assault rifle or an SMG because it requires you to actually aim and hit your target with the water. And then its secondary ability is kind of like a healing. So if you go on water, you get your health restored. Fire bending is pretty much the close quarters shotgun. You can do a Hulk Hogan leg drop with the fire sweep, or you can shoot some fire projectiles, which probably only work well in close quarters. And then air bending is mobility because you can jump sky high and you can turn into an air wheel and fly the heck out of there. So that's basically all your key elements to success in Fortnite. You've got everything you need to win a fight. So if you get all four of these, you should be an unstoppable force. But like I said, this should shake up the gameplay a lot. You're going to have to be aware of what these elements do when other people have them. I'm sure some of them are going to be super strong. Maybe some of them are going to be super weak. We'll just have to wait and find out. Now, remember, if things do turn out to be super, super overpowered, the event ends on May 3rd. So it starts tomorrow, April 12th, ends on May 3rd. That's about three weeks. So we'll see how this plays out. But there you go. That is the breakdown of the new trailer. The event starts tomorrow. So let me know in the comments which one of these mythics is going to be your favorite. Obviously, we have water bending in the game right now, and most people don't even pick it up. But they did buff it, and it's getting pretty strong. If I had to rank these, though, I would probably say earth bending is going to be my favorite just because of its defensive capabilities and then air bending because of the insane mobility. But again, it's going to depend on if you take damage when you turn into the air wheel or if you're just harder to hit or what happens when you do it. I'm not sure. I think the fire bending is going to be super, super strong and deal a lot of damage. So water bending is probably still going to be the worst. But let me know in the comments, which one are you looking most forward to? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.